Now, every great hike deserves a great beer, whether to kind of celebrate summiting the trail or even just as a little bit of a motivator to get back down the trail. We always try to kind of like pair beers with each hike. And for this episode, going to Skeleton Lake, it's about 3.2 miles round trip. I brought in Trevor from Brewery X, head brewer here, to give us his recommendation for what beer he would take on this hike. Yeah, thanks, Shane. First of all, for having me out here. I mean, this is awesome, you know, uh, and what a great yeah, you thing. You can't you beat know? it out here, right? No, not at all. It's cool, too. And just like uh, like Shane mentioned, too, I mean, you always hear about food pairings with beer and like uh, wine pairings with cheese. Uh, I mean, you can pair beer with anything, but yeah. I mean, particularly hikes and, and being out in nature. So uh, I brought two beers today. Uh, one of them is a West Coast IPA called Slap and Tickle, and one of them is called, uh, it's, well, it's a hard seltzer, and it's huckleberry flavored. So like Shane was saying, uh, you know, the most important thing, you know, uh, obviously when you're when you're drinking beer on a hike is you want to be celebrating and having a good time. Uh, you know, uh, like you said, whether you're summiting or, uh, you know, you've, you've made a 12 mile hike or whatever it is. Obviously today it was a little shorter of a hike, yeah. but still you want to celebrate, but you also want to celebrate responsibly. Um, you know, I mean, it's still alcohol at the end of the day, so we still want to be responsible. We want to pack our trash in. We want to pack it out as well. Um, so that's why we brought point. along cans too. You know, I mean, if you bring bottles, uh, you kind of run the risk of breaking that bottle in your backpack. You're covered with beer all day. You smell like beer. Um, there's broken glass. There's bottle caps that can get in the river and, and get in the ecosystem. Yeah. So that's why we bring cans. It's just easier. Um, you know, and just, you know, like you kind of mentioned too, I mean, uh, you know, whether we're ascending, uh, you know, a, a big peak or, or getting into a higher elevation, uh, alcohol is going to hit you differently. So that's why we want to be responsible. We only want to take what we're going to drink, you know. If you're going on a 10 or 12 mile hike, or even, you know, up to Skeleton, which is a three and a half mile hike. Yeah, that round trip. I mean, you're still carrying all that weight, uh, you know, uh, and obviously you have less coming back down, but, uh, you know, you don't want to be <laughs> sidewinding on the trail. And, It'll and up add and to the round trip miles if you're curving. Yeah. You don't want to make a movie based after you because you had too much uh, on the trail. But anyhow, so like I said, without any further ado, uh, two beers I brought, or the one beer and the one seltzer, our uh, Slap and Tickle West Coast IPA uh, comes at about 6.8% and then uh, 5% Huckleberry Hard Seltzer. Uh, I'll talk about the Slap and Tickle first. The thing I like about IPA is uh, they naturally, because of the hops, they have a nice like piney finish. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really reminiscent of kind of you know, like what your environment when you're in the forest. It almost has this like piney, sappy uh, finish where you know, you've got this great resiny uh, hop character to it. It also has uh, tropical fruit notes like pineapple and mango uh, and passion fruit. So uh, IPAs are just a, you know, an all around favorite on a hike. You know, also with at 6.7% alcohol, once you've made it to the summit, you know you're having a good time after you get halfway through this can. Altitude, so, uh, about 10,000 feet up here. Yeah. So, you know, in, uh, in IPA, really in the beer world, uh, it re it's one of those beers that just has a lot of character. Uh, yeah. It's very bold but it can also be very refreshing, not too sweet. Uh, this particular beer has a very dry finish, uh, which like I said, kind of enhances the drinkability and the refreshing uh, flavor components to it. Uh, the next thing is hard seltzer. So this is a really fun one. Hard seltzers have really taken over in the past uh, two or three years uh, with some of the bigger brand stuff. Uh, so we make our own craft seltzers at Brewery X. The thing I like about seltzers is they're just hyper refreshing. You know, uh, we use all natural fruit in these. So, you know, kind of back to the environment you're in, it's nice when you're sitting there at the summit, you've accomplished something yeah. and you want something that's just a little more refreshing, I'd say, than a beer, something that kind of, you you know, you get that, that feeling of, of hydration, mm -hmm. I guess, uh, that's just easy drinking. Seltzer is your number one best bet way to go after a good hike. And like uh, you said, 5%, so it's not, it's not as heavy as the other beer, it's a little yes. bit lighter, a little bit. A little yeah. bit safer, I guess you'd say, if yeah. you're hiking at altitude. Yeah, exactly. You and can have one worried. or two of them and still feel fine. Like I said, you get that, that sense of hydration. Um, I mean, with both beer and seltzer, seltzer is about 98% water. Beer is about 97% water, but still the alcohol will dehydrate you. So like Shane said, I mean, the number one thing here is to, you know, obviously be having fun. Enjoy, you know, uh, what, what you did up on the hill or what you did on your trek or your hike, but also do it responsibly. But uh, yeah, so between those two, if I were to pick one, personally, like I said, I'm a beer guy, but like I said, on a longer hike, if I'm looking for something that's just, you know, it's just more crisp and more refreshing with more natural fruit flavor, um, I'll go with the seltzer. But should we start yeah, drinking? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Trevor, for that. And like we said throughout this video, really make sure to pack in and pack out everything, keep the trails as pristine as possible. And with these cans, 
It's a little bit easier to do once you drink them. You can break them down into that big. It's easy to hike out with. There's no reason to leave them behind. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.